Hello, hello everybody, and what is up? We're back here again with Dalton C Gaming. Before we get into things, make sure to like, subscribe, and just slap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. So, before, so today we are going to be doing how to IL2, and I'm just going to show you guys me flying the IL2 um, stumping mark. And um, yeah, and as you can see, I have the German premium pre pre version. Um, unfortunately, I do not have the, I haven't even really done anything with the Soviet Union tech tree yet. Like I've played a little bit, but I'm nowhere near, near the aisle two yet. So yeah, so yeah, let's um, get right into it. So, and how this works. So like my B-17 and uh, TBD Devastator videos, um, I fly three missions, and it's just me playing, um, and yeah. So first let's go for a quick preview of the aircraft, so we're gonna go to customization, and first take a look at its armor, and, and they call these the flying tank for a reason. Look at this, this is like a, literally a flying tank up here, like Nora back here, but look at all this. So an x-ray, so we got our pilot, fuel tank, fuel tank, oh. Well, that, no wonder there's so much armor. Look at all those fuel tanks. Just one of those go off, and then boom, the plane goes. So far, we said we have two um, 23 millimeter cannons, um, and two 7.62 millimeters, and then a and then a 1500 horsepower engine. So yeah. So um, I think I'm going to hurry and do some customization in this. Let's see, USSR, what do we have? I, don't, I probably don't even have any of these unlocked yet, so. Yeah, so, never mind. Um, let's just go over to the USA and just make the tail look a little cooler. Um, let's see, and checkmate. So there's that. And then come over here. And let's see on neutral countries. Oh yeah, that's right, we're Germany, so let's see, Germany, here we are. I know I have some of these unlocked. And we could do this. Whoa. Size that down a bit. There. Alright, so now that that's all done, let's go out and go into battle. Alright, so we just barely got into battle and we're at Mozdok Winter 1943. So yeah, it looks like our plane's about a year of 1942. So we're going to take in two, two 250 kilogram bombs, not to mention Universal and our target shell. Alright, wow, our plane looks beautiful. Alright, so I think we are going to come in on ground targets over there. If we run into any enemy forces, then we are going to um, attack them with our primary weapons. So yeah, sorry if this video, if there's any lagging in this video. So yeah. Oh, all right. Let's take a look at the cockpit. All right. So we got a pretty sweet looking scope, literally built into the glass. And oh look, there's a flaw in this aircraft. It looks like so. It may be German, but I guess it's not translated into um, from from Russian into um, German. Sorry. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the map. So we got kind of a front line right here, plus four bases. So let's not go after any bases. We don't even have near enough bombs to conquer that. And um, let's see. Alright, there we are. Alright, so let's see. What group are we going to go after? So we are right here. I think we're going to go after this little convoy in right there. So yeah, let's pull over. And there's that convoy. Let's actually attack some of those frontline units right there. Convoys prove lots of video could be a little too much trouble. You could get a bomb right next to them and don't go down. So, yeah. Alright, so let's see. Got a pew fighter. 
Heinkel 111, uh, another Yolchu, a Yawk 1 would be 109. Alright, we got a pretty good team, let's see. Oh yeah, I just kind of named the entire team, so. Alright, we are coming in on the enemy units. Oh crud. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to do with that, some of that defending that I talked about. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, he's coming in. Whoa! What's that? Holy crap! Where the crap did he come from? Alright, so that just happened, so let's just go on to the next mission, I guess. Alright, so we just got into our second battle, like you probably saw, um, the last battle didn't turn out that well for me, so. Yeah, so we're at the Battle of Bastogne map, and let's do this. Respawn. Oh, oh we're not going to even have to really wait. Alright, let's map out our targets. Alright, there's kind of only one big front line, so I guess we're going there. So we got 110. Oh, whoa! Is this guy trying to collide with me? See, that guy is trying to do formation. Alright, so R on 57. That's kind of cluster stuff. So. Oh, we got quite a few good fighters, not too much of a couple dive bombers. So, yeah, this might be pretty good. Alright. Let's see. Comment down below if you find a weird view in War Thunder. If you look back like this and down, then you'll basically see the inside of your pilot's neck. And if you find that creepy or weird or if guy can show reprogram that so you don't see whatever the crap that is. It looks like a hair head, I don't know. Alright, let's see. Here we got quite a few artillery clusters. Um, so yeah, I just want to know my enemy's positions. We've already lost uh, aircraft. Alright, so that looks like a pretty good target. That's a nice good line that I could go in and attack. If I even managed to get there like last time. So we got a couple howitzers, I guess. So. Howitzer. And I'm out of view of one of the other ones. Alright, so we got attackers over there. Some kind of bomb nearby. Oh, whoa! Wow, this is a huge battle raging. Alright. There goes nothing. We are approaching targets. Oh, that, now that I look at it, that's going to be a bad attack with all those trees. I'm just going to come in over here. Alright, here we come. Oh, we got an eel too, right here too. Oh, this is gonna be epic. It's gonna be El Chudo. See who wins. Oh, I got him! Alright, we got him! Oh, I 16? This guy shouldn't be a problem. If he has that plan. Oh snap, he's out turning me, this might be bad. Alright, let's. Oh gosh, this is really, really bad. Where is that? I shack anyway. I'm hit bad. Real bad. Oh wait, that, that P400's coming at me I might be able to take him out. I hit him. I got a couple hits on him at least. Alright, clearly I'm about to go down, and here's the lag. Oh wait, I'm leveling out. 
Oh crud. I'm just gonna wait till I finish. Oh wait, let's see what the tips tell me and try to find them. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, that was pretty successful though. As you can see, I got one air target down and I got some other hits, so. Yeah, that was pretty successful. Alright, so let's go on to our third and final mission. So, yeah. Alright, so we just got into our final battle of the day. And we are at Rur, so let's do this. Alright. In fact, Rur is actually one of my favorite maps just because of the green landscape mixed with, um, with a pretty good city and other targets and it's basically um, the bold map, but more green. And it's also more effective because it's easier to aim and stuff, so yeah. So I think we're going to go after um, these little targets over by... How's it? Bochum, I think? Bochum? Tell me down below in the comments if you actually figure that out. I'm not going to right now. Alright, so let's see what we got. So we've got those that beautiful one 110. We got quite a few fighters of B-18. Once again, we got a pretty good team. This last two rounds, we never got to see them actually in action that much. And this time, we're going to watch my six. Get my little pendant in there. Alright. So... Let's look at these other teammates' movements. We got the Spitfires climbing for obvious reasons. The bombers on the enemy team. You can see that one in that little speck up there. Um. Oh, hey, cool map. Huh. I guess we are. What brothers or something? I don't know. I think I'm going to try to go for a more dive bomber-like attack on this one. So I'm going to fly about a thousand feet, but. Again, that is above ocean level. I'm probably only like 800 feet. I don't know. Alright. Alright, so I think that 110 probably is all out of ordinance. And. Nope, he's coming back around. Alright, and here we are. Oh, he knocks out my target, I swear. Alright, no Alright, let's see. Alright, let's hope that did it. Go away. Oh, I just hit. Just another boring old hit. I'm gonna go away from those AA guns. Alright. Let's see what I can do now. Alright, and look like looks like we got some AA units and a couple more bunkers. In my opinion, AA units are a little more effective because you can knock them out easier and you could get a lot more silver lines if you just target those. Sorry about the lag, um I don't know why my game's been really laggy lately. Alright. Take a turn. Alright, now we're gonna have to start being a little more aware of where I look at the skies. Alright. One of those dives are probably dead. Is he dying? No, he's not. I think I'm gonna try to go in on these since I don't necessarily have any more ordnance I could use. Holy crap. Oh gosh. Alright. Take it off. Oh, this guy's not easy. I can't use. Take him down. Kill sis. And that was pretty good, but our aircraft is beat up, so let's head back to base. Cause I think I was watching my six or I would have definitely been dead. Unless you bring down. I don't know. Die with me, boys. This is still a new issue. Right. See, scrolling at us. I know. Alright. 
Wait, did we lose any gear in that? Okay, no. Aircraft is surprisingly holding up pretty well, depicting by the fact that there's a literally a hole in our, your right wing, wing right just have come true. And whoops. Oh gosh, okay, I'm dead. Right. Oh, uh, I hate that. Okay, I'm dead. Alright. <laughs> he can't even get the kill. Alright, well, hey, I got kill assist, ground target destroyed. So that was pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so let's, so let's end the video here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and just slap the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And if you want to see any more cool videos that I, that I make, click on the two suggested videos above. Thanks for watching. Bye.